Identifying vulnerabilities. Denial of service. Virus and malware. Social engineering. Physical attacks. Malicious actors can exploit these weaknesses in multiple ways, and it sets the stage for reviewing some of the most common vulnerabilities affecting storage systems and industrial control systems, ICS. Core takeaways. System security is foundational. If critical security measures aren't in place, strong authentication, updated patches, secure configurations, attackers have many ways to break in. Varied attack types. Threats don't just come from purely technical exploits. There are also physical and social factors, phishing, tailgating, that can compromise data. Scope of vulnerabilities. Different environments, like an ICS used in manufacturing versus a traditional IT storage system, might have specific vulnerabilities. But the underlying principle is that any weak point can become a doorway for an attacker. Key lesson. The key lesson is that vulnerabilities aren't limited to software bugs alone. Human error, poor physical security, and social manipulation can be just as dangerous as any unpatched system flaw. Recognizing that vulnerabilities exist in multiple layers of a system, hardware, software, people, processes, is a fundamental step in creating a robust security posture. Leaving data exposed. Let's highlight software vulnerabilities that can compromise data, e.g. SQL injections and XSS. It also drives home the point that security lapses often come from human error, like using default usernames and passwords. Key insight. Configuration errors. Failing to secure logins or leaving default passwords is a direct path to unauthorized access. Role of human error. Even advanced security tools can't compensate for poor user choices like weak or unchanged credentials. Let's shift focus to management interface vulnerabilities. For instance, using an intelligent platform management interface, IPMI, to monitor a control service. If incorrectly configured, these interfaces can give attackers wide access to core systems. Key insight. Central points of control, IPMIs and similar tools are convenient for administrators, but can become a single point of failure if they are not properly locked down. Configuration. Correctly configured IPMIs will limit access to authorized personnel. Incorrectly configured ones can become a massive security hole. Error handling is another crucial area that can leave data exposed. Errors that are improperly handled can reveal sensitive information to attackers. Overall, leaving data exposed underscores that both deliberate configuration efforts, like restricting access to management interfaces, and smaller human actions, like updating default credentials, have a profound effect on data security. Even one insecure interface or overlooked password can breach an entire system. Handling errors. Let's discuss error messages and how they can inadvertently disclose sensitive information. Developers sometimes include detailed messages for troubleshooting, which can become a goldmine for malicious actors. Key insight. Too much detail, error messages that reveal paths, version numbers, or configurations give attackers starting points for deeper exploits. Key insight. Directory traversal with detailed directory structures. Attackers might attempt directory traversal attacks to access files and commands they shouldn't see. Unnecessary details, even something as small as a directory name or internal path can be exploited. Let's emphasize that minimal error information for regular users. Rather than giving internal details, a generic message such as unable to connect, please contact support is enough. Key insight. User versus technical team, end users don't need the same error detail as developers. Detailed logs can still exist internally without being exposed to potential attackers. Balance, provide enough information to troubleshoot while avoiding details that help attackers. Key lesson, handling errors underscores that what might seem like harmless debugging information can inadvertently open the door to further exploitation. Striking the right balance between helpful troubleshooting logs and minimal user-facing messages helps maintain security.